Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm here with my buddy Deep and my new friend Zach here. Hello. He brought HG1 Prime, okay? I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, walk, you know, kind of rundown for you. So this is a hand grinder. It's hand grinder, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it's like manual grinder from the... It's not a Weber. Not, not, not a Weber. It's not a Weber. Uh, from Craig Cra Lynn. Craig Lynn. So Craig Lynn and Weber, they used to be together. Now they're separated, right? Yeah. Okay, so now they're separated. So this morning, last, well, last good hour or so, we've been compare uh, my EK43 versus the Weber. Okay, so my EK43 is a 98 millimeter, the SSP, kind of like pre-2015, the bird design, okay? They're fan amazing birds. And they compare that with Weber, no, I'm sorry, Craig Lynn, the HG1 Prime, with 83, the conical birds from Mazo. And then we are compared that with Ethiopia from uh, our friends at uh, Presta Coffee. We have a three for three, okay? We have a consensus that HG1 has a better, better, okay? Let's put it that I hate to admit <laughs> this, but HG1 was better because it uh, comes to, they bring out the more sweetness than my EK43 and the more, oh, more flavor, more, more, aroma. more aroma, more everything. You know what? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I was a little disappointed because <laughs> this is not a cheap grinder, okay? It's about $36, $3,700 grinder. How much is that one? Uh, I think it's like $950 or 1000 it, So it's made under $1,000. I mean, it is a lot of money for hand grinder, but... Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have Zach brew the Craig Lynn first, okay? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have Zach brew... This very light roast, okay, for say coffee. Uh, yesterday I brewed with the dip. Yesterday uh, it was good, but let's find out how good HG1 makes. Okay, so I'm gonna have him uh, brew the coffee for us right now, and uh, uh, let's talk about it even more. Okay, I'm just gonna flip the camera. Okay, go ahead. So we have Zach here. Okay, he's nice enough to bring the. Grinder for us. Okay, here we go. So he. So again, so this is like uh, th there's no flywheel. It has a gearbox, right? It's a two point five to one gear ratio. Yeah, two point five to one gear ratio. Uh, rain, yes, he does really good espresso as well. Okay, definitely does really good espresso. There we go. And, then... and then we are brewing this uh, morning coffee from Say, uh, Ethiopia wash process, Durmoso. It's gonna be uh, candy, lemon. Passion fruit and ever uh, ever vessen acidity. And the, uh, what kind of brewing method are you doing again? Uh, it's kind of like in a the George Howe. George Howe. Uh, the pour and pour, you said no. The, the pulse pour. Pulse pour brewing method. Uh, we're gonna do one uh, 15 gram ratio there. Again, if you're just joining us right now, well, we are... So we did compare HG1 Prime versus my EK43. In the end, uh, I felt like the HG1 has the edge. All right, there we go. So we are doing the pores pole. Have to go real slow with this one. Yeah, we are going. So how, how can you explain the the brewing method, Zach? So, um, 
as it's a pulse pour, you don't really have to worry about blooming because you basically bloom as part of it. Okay. Um, there's more agitation, I feel like, this mm -hmm. way because you're pulsing it. Yep. And... Sorry, concentrating on... Oh, yeah, the please do. Yep. There we go. Um... I don't know. It's one of the ones I just tried, and it works best for me and my brewing methods, and easy enough to repeat. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's all about the repeatability when it comes to making coffee. Anyway, if you are joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. Uh, I'm here with the Zach and Dip here. And they're, again, goodness. We are comparing the HG1 Prime versus my EK43. The first round goes to HG1 Prime. I was, uh, actually, I was a little shocked, okay? I was a little shocked. I was hoping for the, the flat burr, okay, the 98 flat there, but man, that is, uh, oh well, okay, that's, you know, that's life, guys. You cannot win it all. Okay, we cannot win it all. And uh, uh, we are, uh, so right now we are brewing with HG1 Prime with uh, the Say Coffee here. <clears throat> so this is their uh, Wash Ethiopia. Hey, Joe, uh, I guess Joe Cobb is watching. Man, Joe, uh, we tested three times, okay? I need to check my alignment, all right? I think I need to check my alignment again. Maybe my alignment is off, all right? So I'm going to big shout out to Joe. And then just drawing it down. Okay, and then, uh, so we're going to be... Because I, I, I remember uh, this coffee pretty well from yesterday, so let's find out. Okay. Is your cup ready, Dip? Okay. By the way, so this coffee I got from Presta, from Dip here. The Guji Anaerobic Natural. Goodness, spectacular. Wow. Okay, so how many minutes so far? That's at 3.30, but I might take it off. Yeah, good. All right, folks. I'm gonna check the aroma. Okay, here. I mean, it smells, I don't know. Passion fruit. fruit. We had that yesterday okay. as well. Okay. It smells passion fruit. Passion fruit there. All right. Let's let's serve this coffee. All right. So this is a coffee from Say. All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Cheers, guys. Here we go. Oh, lemon? Yeah. Hold on. A little bit like lavender. Lavender, lemon. Uh, kind of like light body to it. Yeah, I know you can lavender, but I, don't, I still don't get that, that's, that citrus of lemon in there. I don't get that. I was, no, the the I'm I'm talking about the, the uh after taste. I can uh, after taste. Yeah, it has to be. the lemon, right? A strong lemon. Yeah, strong lemon there. But not like the acidity of it. It's just yeah. like the flavor of lemon. Yeah, that's okay, so nice. so this is a wash process compared to earlier. We are testing with anaerobic. Man, that was 
Anaerobic was pretty good. Yeah, that was uh, really good. Okay, anaerobic process was fantastic. So, man, I, I feel, I mean, so this one's kind of like yesterday, but yeah. it wasn't that whole lot difference, but all depend on the coffee, especially with like exotic fermentation like this, and uh, anaerobic natural. I feel like uh, H2O Prime bring up more sweetness. Man. So yeah. yesterday when we drink, when, when we were having this uh, yep. say, it was, there was bitterness mm -hmm. in the taste. It's not there today. No. There's no bitterness there. So that's one good thing for sure. And so, that's because of conical. Man, the, the conical, you know, the bring up more, what? More, conical bring up more fines. But um, not that, right? I feel like it comes down to RPM. Yeah, RPM is a huge. Okay. Um, I mean, the distribution like, might be a little larger, but yeah. I feel like you're not getting as much on like the Exa ends. Exactly. So, I mean, the RPM does matter. Okay, I have to say. And I'm going to big shout out to Mr. Rainbow for super sticker there. And yeah, I think RPM does matters for sure. Man. I think we have consensus, right? I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, is yeah. I mean, HD1 Prime yep. the winner today? Yep. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yep, H1 Prime. I think I'm gonna check my alignment on my EK43. <laughs> okay, I think I gotta. Yeah, I I, I need a check because. I I think we can do better. All right, I think we can do better. I'm I'm gonna have a Jack. I'm, I'd like to invite him next time, because I wanna dial my coffee, my grinder. So we're gonna do some <laughs> real. So two years were more like spontaneous comparison. But his brewing method, the George Howell, what, Pulse Pour? Yeah, the Pulse Pour. Pulse Pour, man, amazing. Okay, very fantastic. Definitely beat my, the competition brewing method. <laughs> the fail on me today. It failed miserably. <laughs> but, man, I, I have to say. By the way, if you have any questions or comment about HG1 Prime, ask me right now on the live chat there. All right. Oh, but meantime, I'm going to shout out to... Let's see here. Also, shout out to Rain for the super sticker as well. Yep, Joe. Yeah, uh, oh, I think we're gonna be. I'm gonna be ready for Zach next time. Okay, <laughs> we cannot on. have this. <laughs> All right, we cannot have this for sure. I'm gonna dial that thing. So good. I'm gonna pick my coffee as well, and I'm gonna pick the coffee. And I'm gonna invite Zach over for a rematch. He's coming blind. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You, you, no, no, no. You're gonna bring your grinder, okay? Yeah. So uh, let's see. We got Rain. We got C Pal. We got Peters, Dark Rock. So I don't want to miss anybody. I want to have uh, AJ's on as well. I think I cover everybody. You got the Rainbow. Yep. I think we are good. Okay. I think we are really good this morning. Uh, shout out to Reroy as well. Man. Okay, so. Okay, so far, uh, the uh, dog man asked me. So we did compare H1 plus, uh, H1 versus EK43. 83 millimeter conical on H1 prime. 98 millimeter SSP, that's a 2015. The pre-2015, the bird design. Both fantastic. Uh, first round. We uh, brew with Ethiopia natural, okay? Anaerobic natural. Wonderful aroma from HG1 Prime. Amazing, okay? Fantastic coffee. Second round, uh, comes the brewing method. George Howe Pours Pour, definitely better than my modified triclet. Okay, so far my modified triclet's been better than Stack X, V60, but not this time, okay? Not this time, it's fair on me today. All right. And then the second round, we brew Say Coffee, extremely light, okay? Extremely light coffee. Still good, okay? But not like the anaerobic natural process. I think if, I, I don't know, is it safe to say if you have like more exotic, Brew uh, fermentation to yeah, bring I, out the more. I, I kind of feel with a lot of those newer 
uh -huh. processes that they're yep. coming out with. Um, like the flat burrs really aren't the preferred choice for that because I don't, I don't know, like the clarity is almost too much mm -hmm. to really take in the whole coffee. But with the conical burrs, you kind of get the whole package where yeah. you get like the funkiness and like the sweetness that they're actually trying to pull out of it. Um, like Presta, they have a coconut lemonade one right now where they actually like ferment the coffee with coconut husk and oh did citrus. you hear that and it tastes just like a like a coconut limeade you get from like sonic or something really it's it's crazy i i can bring it next week yes please do yeah. so zach's gonna bring that one next week and uh, man you know what if not i'm gonna go buy one too so you're gonna have some <laughs> plenty of coffee to play with anyway man so this is an amazing session there and also, uh, I just got a coffee from uh, French coffee as well. And uh, we're going to, we are going to try some the coffee from San Diego and also a coffee from uh, Santa Barbara area, the Santa Barbara Geisha. Can you guys believe the Geisha from Santa Barbara there? I have not tried yet, but it should be amazing. I hope. Let's see here. I think we are good. Hold on a second. Killer. Say the sweet spot of the big conical tube. Yeah. So I, I think Zag is correct. I mean, this modern day, this very exotic fermentation process, the, the conical, the large conical, the bring out the both words, the clarity plus all the different, the sweetness and man. But comes to a uh, wash, light roast, it doesn't have that edge to it, but I think this coffee right here. Anyway, cheers everybody, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday, and see you guys next time.